Okay guys, Big Slick here and it's product review time. Today we're doing Shimano Power Modulator Noodles. The purpose of this product is to help prevent you from flipping over the handlebars in a case of emergency braking. Uh, the exact part number is Shimano SM-PM70. Here's a shot of, they actually make two different ones for the front and back. That part I just showed you there, that is 135 degrees in terms of the angle of the noodle and it's for the front brake. The other product is the exact same part number but it's 90 degrees and it's meant for the rear. So that's the two different parts. Installation is very simple. You just take off your old noodle and put this on. The only thing that I would say about it is the instructions don't tell you which direction to put the actual power modulator. It's not obvious, but the BL on here is brake lever. So this end goes towards the brake lever and the BR is for brake. This goes towards the brake side. Other than that, it's self-explanatory. There's really you can't screw it up to put it on. So people on online forums and chat groups tend to dismiss these power modulators as being junk and that all they do is cause you to take longer to uh, come to a complete stop. I disagree with that for the same reason that anti-lock brakes work on a car. The idea is not to skid or in some way lose overall stopping momentum of the wheel. The idea is to gradually bring you to a stop without skids and lockups. And that in totality that is a better way to stop your vehicle, in this case a bicycle. So the idea is do these Shimano power modulators work? Tektro makes a model that's basically as far as I can tell identical. So the same theory would apply to the Tektro ones. Well, in my experience, they help, but they will not prevent wheel lockups. So ultimately, they fail to accomplish what they set out to do, but they do accomplish it partially. So in my opinion is, it is better than nothing. If, you're having, if you put one of these modulator noodles on your bike, and you find that you're stopping slower, I would suggest that probably your V-brakes, your the track on your rim, or the brake pads, there's something, or even the brake levers, you have a something that's substandard there, or just not adjusted right, or in some way could be better. Because with these power modulators, I stop every bit as fast, and the only thing that I've noticed is I get a little bit of an edge, a bit, to where I'm not going to lock up the wheels as fast. And I put the, put the modulator on the back for the same reason. And here's the one on the back. The reason I put it on the back was obviously has nothing to do with flipping over the handlebars, but to try to prevent skids because when your tire is skidding, you're not getting as much stopping power as you think you are. The best way to stop a wheel is to gradually slow it down without skidding. So to the extent that this helps, and it does, I gave it a pretty extensive tryout. If I just gripped beyond belief real fast, going at about 15 miles an hour or higher, I was able to lock up the rear wheel but it did take a lot more time to lock up before it locked up. So in general, I accomplished what I wanted to, that I'm getting more braking power from it before the skid. So overall, I did make one other change too. I switched the levers to, in relation to which wheel they control. Uh, in USA, it's custom for the right lever to control the rear brake and the left front lever to control the front brake. 
I felt that I wanted to try doing it the way the motorcycles do, where the the right handlebar brake controls the rear brake, or excuse me, the front brake. So that's what I tried, and I don't know, I think I like it. And the reason is, is that during panic stops, I tend to, with my left hand, just grip. It's an all or nothing proposition. And being that you get most of your stopping power from the front wheel, in my opinion, it was smart, at least in my case, to swap those so that if my left hand goes to more or less lock up the brake, it's going to lock up the rear wheel. It's not no longer going to lock up the front wheel. I do seem to modulate more with my right hand when I'm braking, even in a panic situation. So it made much more sense to have the right hand control the brake that's most likely to flip you over the front. So like I say, these power modulators, I would give them a qualified recommendation based upon that if you have modest expectations and your expectations is to simply help to prevent lockup, then I say they are successful at that. The Shimano instructions explicitly say that they will, that these power modulators will not prevent wheel lockup. So that's probably legalese to avoid being sued, but it's also accurate because you can lock them up. But like I say, primarily they do help. It did take a lot more uh, speed and a lot more grip in order to lock the wheel up and so that was all a plus. In other words, I'd be much less likely to lock up the wheel during an emergency braking situation. And that was really all that I was expecting. And even on a, from an everyday braking standpoint, I actually do find that these modulators are useful because you seem to get a nice soft, it, soft's maybe not the right word, but kind of like a smooth or gradual braking that sometimes depending on your brake lever, depending on the V-brakes that you're using, even depending on the pads, how soft or hard your brake pads are, you can't always get a nice modulation, at least when you're, when you're kind of cruising along. And I do find that these help with that because uh, you have that, these basically have a spring inside of them. And what you're doing is that spring starts to compress as you grip the lever more. So if you're just casually uh, doing some braking, that spring in there gives you a real nice modulation in terms of your everyday cruising braking where you're just simply trying to slow down a little bit, not trying to come to a stop, maybe just to go around a bend, a sharp bend or something of that nature. So. I do like them. I think these are, I recommend them. I don't think they're a fantastic product. I don't think it's something that if you've never had an issue and everything works great for you, probably not something you're going to want to buy. If you've ever encountered that situation or you just feel that your brakes are just more or less an all or nothing proposition, then I would strongly suggest you try these. They were super cheap. They were on sale at Chain Reaction and they had these on sale for two dollars a piece. So I went ahead and bought four, two fronts and two rears. So those are my thoughts on the issue. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you're debating on whether this will help you or not, there you go. And like I say, the BL on the power modulator goes towards the brake lever and the BR goes towards the brake if you're unsure which direction to put the actual modulator onto the noodle. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.